dear viewers welcome to the channel bloom skills today i'm here with an interesting topic how to frame questions using bloom taxonomy before we get into the video i request all the viewers to subscribe to bloom skills without further delay let's get into the topic i have given you a picture which depicts the revised bloom taxonomy that is the level of taxonomy it comes from remembering understanding applying analyzing evaluating and creating under each level let us discuss type of questions can be asked as a teachers we when we frame a question for our children during an assessment time we try to take questions based on bloom's taxonomy what is their understanding level evaluating level the respective percentage of blueprint we give them based on the bloom's taxonomy many of us were not clear how to frame and assess the students based on this pattern so i hope this video will definitely help those teachers who are in still in confusion to create the question papers so let me first discuss with remembering if when i'm talking about remembering the level remembering it means recalling information like we can also give another term as recognizing listing describing naming finding all these type of questions will come under remembering i can say for example how the question stems what happened after how many what is this who are you who is that can you name that plant which is true or false these type of questions come under remembering it is very easy for us to frame the blueprint based on the bloom's taxonomy definitely next is understanding level the level of taxonomy is understanding so i can say under understanding explaining ideas or concept okay the definition comes like explaining ideas or concept it can be interpreting summarizing classifying explaining so all these terms can be used to frame and understanding questions can you write in your own words how would you explain this what could happen next if she is not here what do you think it is right what was the main idea behind the story so these type of question stems can be asked under the understanding level of taxonomy next it is applying applying is using information in another familiar situation that is the learner know the information and he or she is going to apply the information in some other place it can be implementing carrying out using executing do you know of another instance where this happened can you group it which factors would you change if you are there in that particular place what questions would you ask from the information given can you develop a set of instructions so all these type of question pattern comes under applying next is analyzing breaking information into parts to explore understanding and relationship it can be like calculating categorizing classifying or a diagram based question everything will comes under analyzing which event could not have happened why did this occur what was the problem with you so all these are analyzing based questions next is evaluating it can be justifying a decision or course of action is there a better solution for this what do you think about it do you think it is good or bad how would you feel if you are a prime minister how effective is this medicine is what are the pros and cons of this treatment so all these type of questioning will comes under evaluating next it is creating that is the next level of taxonomy is creating it is generating new ideas products or ways of viewing the things it can be designing constructing planning producing 
or inventing. Can you design this? Can you see a possible solution for this? What would happen if? Can you create new and unusual uses for this? So all these type of questioning will come under creating. It is very important to note in the teaching process, the assessment is very important. To make an effective assessment, the questioning is very important. That is the questions you put forth to the learners. So with no doubt, I hope you will be clear with the Bloom's taxonomy questioning pattern. Thanks for watching and happy learning.